Hey there, I'm Kevin Mendenhall. Today we're going to build a simple Revit family. It's a face-based wood trim and uh, we're going to be able to just apply that to our wall and then we're going to uh, build it so that there's shape handles on it and you can stretch it in either direction to make it fit the area that you need to fit. Since it's a face-based family, the fill pattern that, that is applied to our material is going to rotate with the trim. So no matter what direction you rotate the trim, the wood grain that we're going to apply to it will rotate. I'd like to remind you to uh, like and subscribe if you would, and uh, let's jump into Revit and we'll get this family built. Alright, we're going to start by going to File, and New. We're going to do a new family. We're going to go to English Imperial, and we're going to come down here to our generic model face based right there. We'll double click on that to open the family. Family template, that is. Now this is a uh, generic model face based and this this is the key to getting our, our material or our pattern for our material to run in, in the right direction. So when I create our family here, I'm going to create it in this orientation. You can see this uh, this object here. That's our face that we're uh, that we're going to build on, and the reason why I am going to build our family in this orientation, as if this this were our piece of lumber, is so. I'm going to go back to our drawing here. I'm going to select my material and go into my material editor. You can see that this pattern that I use here. This is the uh, the orientation of the uh, of the pattern. It's it, as opposed to these vertical lines where it's running up and down. This particular model pattern that I use for my trim is running horizontally, and that's the same orientation as our family will be in this direction. If we build this this way, the pattern is going to run side to side, and we don't we don't want that. So I'm going to start by creating some reference planes and I'm going to go like this and like that. So I'm going to place a couple of dimensions here. I'm going to put one uh, from here to here. It's going to be our length. We're going to put one from there to there. I'm going to select this dimension go to my parameter. I'm going to create this one is going to be a our length length it's going to be an instance parameter and that's going to allow us to stretch this and we're going to do the same thing with our width that'll be an instance also we're going to switch to uh, one side or the other I usually choose the right side select RP on the keyboard that'll start another reference plane and I'm going to create another dimension this time this is going to be a uh, type parameter. The reason for that being is I want to be able to change all the trim at once if it's going to be three quarter or inch and a half or whatever. So we're going to leave this as a type. This we're going to call thickness and we're going to click OK. We're going to go back to our reference level and we're going to create an extrusion going to select my rectangle tool and drag that out like that. I'm going to line and lock that to our reference planes just like that and I'm going to select OK and that's uh, that's the basic shape of our trim. We're going to go back to the right so that we can lock that to our thickness like that. We're going to go back to the reference level. We're going to select our extrusion and we're going to create a material parameter just like that. And that'll be a type as well. Again, if we if we create it as a type and we change it in our type properties, it'll change everything at once. I'm going to click OK. If that were an instance parameter, you could change the material for every instance or every individual instance in your drawing. I'm going to save this 
as casework. So I'm going to select uh, family categories and I'm going to save that as casework. And then I'm going to save this as a family. And I'm going to save this in a temporary folder that I've created in my downloads folder because I use my downloads as a as a junk folder because I clean that that out periodically. I'm just going to call this face based trim. So I'm going to create a uh, subcategory. I'm going to go to manage object styles new. I'm going to call this custom window trim. Okay and okay. So I'm going to select our geometry and I'm going to find that subcategory that we just created, which is a uh, window trim, custom window trim. I'm going to load this into our project. I already have an instance in here, so we're just going to overwrite that. And so here is our face space trim. You can see I can turn it by hitting the space bar and I drop that on the wall. And you can see that the pattern will follow the uh, trim itself. And when I need to modify this, if I need to stre stretch from uh, one side to another, I can just grab the shape handles and drag it however I need to. Now also, if I go to our floor plan, a lot of times this will uh, this will show through and the reason why I made that subcategory is uh, if we go to casework category here expand this and you'll see our custom window trim here's the category that we created earlier if for some reason we wanted to shut that off we can shut off just that subcategory and it will disappear that's it for this one thank you for watching uh, again please uh, like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time